divide and express the result in standard form. So we have 9 over 5 minus i. So the first thing you have to do in these division problems is you have to multiply by the conjugate. So the conjugate of 5 minus i is 5 plus i. All you do is switch the sign to find the conjugate. So for example, if it was 3 plus 2i, the conjugate would be 3 minus 2i. If it was 7 plus 6i, the conjugate would be 7 minus 6i. So all you do is switch the sign. Okay, so step one, multiply by 5 plus i over 5 plus i. So we're allowed to do this because this actually cancels and it's equal to 1. Um, so that's why we're allowed to multiply, right? We're basically multiplying by 1. So in the numerator, we go ahead and distribute. Let me put this in parentheses for clarity because everything is in parentheses. So distribute the 9. So you get 9 times 5, which is 45. And then you get 9 times i, which is 9i. Good stuff. In the denominator, we use our super powerful formula. So if you remember, if you have a minus bi times a plus bi, that's the same thing as a squared plus b squared. Right, the i's go away, they, they vanish. So in this case, a is 5, so it's 5 squared, then plus, and then b is actually 1. There's a 1 here, and there's a 1 here. So it's not negative 1. It wouldn't matter, by the way. If you called it negative 1, it, it works, but b is actually 1. So 1 squared. So we end up with 45 plus 9i over, and then 5 squared is 25, and then 1 squared is 1. So you end up with 45 plus 9i over 26. And then we can break it up, right? To break it up, you just do 45 over 26. Then you put the plus sign, so plus. Then you do 9i over 26. So you can write it like that. Another way to write the answer, by the way, is um, 45 over 26 plus 9 over 26 times i. So the i is on the outside. So you can put it on the outside or you can put it up top. Both are perfectly acceptable answers. I hope that made sense.